There you go, ladies and gentlemen. <laughs> ladies and gentlemen, Michael Palmisano here. And I'm back on my website, guitargate.com. And I see this. Ghost just won the AMA Rock Award. Do you know them? By Professor Turgeson. Hello, Professor. Uh, no, I don't know them. Um, <laughs> professor says, wild band from Sweden? Question mark. Must review. Must review. In all caps. All right. Let's do it. Um, real quick, just so you guys know, I am still running the Black Friday promotion to give away this PRS, and you can get all my courses at a heavy, heavy discount. Uh, it is the first link in the description if you want to be like Professor Turgeson here and be a member of the community. And pick what comes next on YouTube. Here we go. No idea who Ghost is. No idea. It's a song that my papa used to sing, actually. You might like this one. <laughs> so much going on here. Not Okay, I feel a bunch of different things. One, I'm not surprised that they won the AMAs because this is some seriously hooky pop uh, 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 style writing. Um, I can see how a lot of uh, non-musicians uh, latch on to this. And that's not a dig against the band. It's actually a major... T double thumbs up. It's hard to do. Two, I've said it before in a bunch of videos. Most recently, I think, the, the past Kiss review, um, where, like, where are all the characters and costumes and larger-than-life rock bands these days? Uh, I guess they're in Sweden. I guess it's Ghost. I, I love... I, j I just love that about this whole genre. I've always been a huge fan of larger-than-life, of... I think Lemmy said it best, or he said something like, you know, people don't want their rock stars to be someone they could just run into at the Ralph's, you know, at the grocery store. They, they want to be these mythical creatures who they're not even sure exist or not. Like, I get it. Um, as, far as, the, as far as the basic harmony goes so far, um, you got heavy distorted guitars in the neighborhood of G. You got this... That's one, flat three, so that's B flat, to flat seven, which is F. Now that's a cool little lift right there. You got a C, up a minor third to its E flat, okay? And then it's back, back to F down there. So you got C, E flat, F. But again, the F is played lower there. Um, so you're, so you're, you know, so you. So you got a G, F, E flat, and C, okay? Um, so, so we're squ 
squarely, we're squarely in G minor here, right? So you got uh, four. Uh, well, we well we skip the D, but flat six, flat seven, one. Very cool, very cool little lift there. Such a thing. Love the keys that are just staying in it the whole part. Such a quick little guitar solo that's just all melody. I Let me tell you something. I talk about it all the time on this channel. Like, the real peak of the mountain, uh, in my opinion, is if you can write and perform things that appeal to non-musicians, that are hooks. Hooks. Hooks that, that don't necessarily appeal to people like me who are going to nerd out on how cool it is, but who people just can't get it out of their head and they... Just love it, right? This is the quickest little melodic guitar solo. Let's break it down. Let's see if we can get some. That's a... I think... Let's see what it is. Something like that. The point is, we're, we're shooting for that G. And then shooting for F to C there. So hooky. So we're just going again. Flat seven, four, flat three, two. This is all in G minor, right? So. And whenever you hang on that nine, right? Remember, that's the fifth of your five chord. It really implies. Um, uh, well, without getting too heady, it, it implies that movement back to the one. And so whenever you have melodies that hang on the nine, remember, it's only a half step above the root. It really, again, we're trying to ap appeal to non-musicians as much as we can. It's such an easy, obvious note for, for, for anybody to just get stuck in their head. It sounds that you're just like, oh, what is that? It really wants to get resolved. And it does that, that, that. Now where's it end? So it does this little tease where it does to the F. Now if you remember in the chord progression, it went B flat to F like that where we're about to go back into that verse part. So it teases that, that, there's your B flat. It does a lick that, that same little motif, but in a different spot that you did before, hangs on that F, which again, that's your flat seven, which also wants to get resolved back to your tonic, back to one. So you teased on the nine, which really wants to go to one, and then you circle back below it on the flat seven that also wants to go to one. And then that's where your main riff comes back in. Super 
melodic writing, super hooky. And short. Love the stage setup. Hold on, how big is this band? This is live in Tampa, 2022, and they're from Sweden. And the stadium is packed, and people are dressed up and got the face paint on. How big is this band? 6.2 million views two months ago. 262,000 likes. Holy crap. This band is huge. This band is absolutely massive. Push right there. That little lift, man. That, that you're, you're, but there's this little lift in here when you're going back to G, right? Like it just, it just squeezes through F sharp there. Little things like that make the, it, it, it makes the movement more obvious, right? Even if people who are listening can't understand what it is or can't describe it, they know something happens there. And when you keep repeating Mary on the Cross, when you keep repeating the hook over and over and over again, but as the song progresses, you change these little inflections here and there, it just ingrains it in people. Um, that's how you end up with stadiums filled like this, um, of people knowing every word. When I, when, I, when I was on the cover band scene, I used to poo-poo so much pop music. Uh, real talk here right now, real talk. I used to totally poo-poo so much pop music. Um, and then it hit me. I was like, there's, I'm doing, I'm being a bad musician uh, by not respecting this stuff. Because if, if millions and millions of non-musicians know every word, know every hook of the song, and it means something to them, as a, as a professional, I should find out why. I should be excited to learn why. So when I'm watching a band like this, that clearly, I hate to use the word gimmick, but I'm just going to say it, clearly has, you know, like the Kiss style gimmick where, you know, full production, face paint, you know, the background is the church, you know, like it's not even a gimmick it's it's theater that's the right word it's theater um i'm watching it through this lens of how does the whole package connect to so many people non-musicians in particular so i would invite you to try to do the same too like we can learn some of the chords the melody and figure it out but think about the actual artistry behind it and the packaging of it that gets so many again they're from sweden we think uh, and this is in Tampa, and it's obviously packed with legions of fans. And I've never heard of this band. This doesn't say anything about me or, or what. I, I don't, I'm not plugged in, but um, I invite you to look at it through this lens. Fascinating. That little move. 
Who sent me this? Professor Turgeson. Professor Turgeson, thank you for being a member at Guitargate, taking my lessons and courses, and turning me on to this. Okay, so I will be the first to admit uh, that this is not stuff I typically listen to. I didn't know who this band is. But from the bottom of my heart, I love that there's a band this big right now that is doing pure rock and roll theater like we used to do i'm telling you that concept of your rock stars being these mythical characters that are larger than life is such an important part of it of part of the sauce man um and i'm sure if i dug into the lyrics there'd be something incredibly profound there he probably said mary on a cross 50 times um but just the, 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 the professional packaging of the way it looks, the way it sounds, the way it connects with people hits. It hits, and you can see it. Again, this band's from Sweden. This is Tampa a couple months ago. Millions of views, millions of subscribers, obviously sold out arena tours. Um it's because it's all on purpose. So, so much of, of us as a musician, especially someone who is a, a, a self-proclaimed, or I'm a, whatever you want to call it, I'm an improviser, right? I'm an improviser and proud of it. Um, I have a deep respect for real uh, artisans of their craft, people who really look at creating art as a real craft, and there's a craft to it, and they present you this thing. This is like like tool. This is when I look at this, I think of tool. I think of this is bigger than rock and roll. It's art, it's theater, all wrapped in one. And I'm gonna rewatch this. I would invite you to do the same. Grab your guitar um, or whatever instrument you play. And and again, I, I would invite you to try to figure out what makes these huge bands so big. What makes these huge songs so huge? What makes the hooks get stuck in the minds and hearts of non-musicians? That's the key to getting this big. That's the key. And I'll leave it right there. That's it, ladies and gentlemen. I hope you have a great day. Remember, if you want to win this, if winning free PRSs is your thing, um, and if you dig the vibe of this channel, um, you want to learn some of, from my, some of my lessons, some of my courses, my step-by-step -step stuff, it's the first link in the description, and on Cyber Monday, I'll be giving this away to somebody who's a member of the community. So please, hit the button, take advantage of the discount, hopefully win the PRS, and be like Professor Turgeson. Turn us on to the next thing that we need to know. Have a great day. Cheers. Wild. Indeed. <laughs>